Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to uh, eGME uh, 401. So uh, you're the first one here, if you're, uh, if you're there. Um, so I, I uh, joined a little bit early to uh, answer any questions that you know, people might have about the class. So uh, if you have any questions for me uh, before we get started today, definitely feel free to ask. Um, you can uh, turn on your microphone or uh, you can enter the questions in the chat and I'll be happy to answer. Hi, welcome. Welcome to eGME 401. Um, so I, I joined. I joined quite a bit early today, um, and I'm speaking kind of, um, you know, earlier than I than I usually do, um, just because I know it's the first class session, and I know there must be a lot of, uh, you know, uncertainty and anxiety about how this virtual semester is going. So, um, if you have any questions about, you know, the course or just, you know, anything um, that's on your mind, then you know, definitely feel free to ask right now. Um, so you can either turn on your microphone and ask, or you can uh, enter the questions in the chat, and uh, I'll be happy to answer. All right, cool. Thank you, Professor. Mm -hmm. Not really much on my mind, just <laughs> getting here early. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and I know Zooms have been having some uh, some problems too, um, so it's it's good that you're uh, you're joined early. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I I might I might seem a little bit low energy just because I'm I'm a bit under the weather, so uh, so I, I apologize for that uh, beforehand. But yeah, no um, problem. problem.
Yeah, welcome everybody. So if you if you're just joining us, um, you know we still have 10 minutes to go into the lecture, but um, I know there there might be a lot of questions about you know how this virtual semester is going to go. So uh, any questions that I can answer before the the lecture begins, definitely feel free to ask right now. So, um, Professor, okay. I can get to the Discord link. I don't know. Okay. Why I can join. Are you using the one that's on the uh, the course website? Yeah. So uh, I keep clicking on it, but. I don't know why it doesn't like join. Okay. So. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. There, are other people have been seem to be able to join the the Discord. Um, or is your? Uh, um, I I do um, have a setting where like you have to have your Discord account uh, authenticated. So is your is your account uh, authenticated? I just made it like from two days, but like I'm not sure if it's okay. Yeah, it, it might it might be that you have to uh, wait a little bit um, and and make sure you. So did you you verified it with your email and everything? Yeah. Okay. Um, it could be yeah, it could be just that your your account's pretty new um, and that it's uh, um, yeah that uh, it's it's a bit hard to join. So uh, we'll we'll try it a little bit uh, or or try try again in a, in a day or two and then. Um, if you we'll, can uh, post the link of the Discord here in the chat, I think I can log in there. Okay. But like down from the website, it doesn't work. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah. Let me, uh, I'll post yeah. the link here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. It's uh, posted in the chat. So welcome everybody. So uh, uh, it seems like a few more people joined us. So um, uh, so I, I wanted to, I, I know we still have some time before the lecture starts today. So, um, you know, I, I want to take this time to answer any questions um, you guys might have about just the virtual instruction or this semester or just this course in general. Um, Cause um, I know this, this course is, is going to be a little bit strange because it's, uh, it's, it's not your typical engineering course. So, um, you know, any questions that you have that I can answer before we start today, I'm, I'm happy to answer. Yeah, I just got in. Thank you so much. Okay, great. Yeah, it works. Yeah. Um, so what this course is about, like, is it's an engineering, like, economic stuff? Yeah, basically. So I think, you know, most of our engineering courses here, uh, you learn kind of a lot of the technical details. So it's very science-based, you know, based on, like, your previous math and physics courses. But um, this is, this is uh, basically going to be, we're going to be learning a lot of basic economics. Um, and so the idea with this class, well, first of all, the, the idea is that, uh, you know, if you're, uh, if you're interested in taking the EIT exam, which is the um, um, exam that will get you certified as an engineer, then there's a part on that exam that has economics. Uh, but, sec but second of all, uh, another um, reason is that, you know, a lot of engineers actually go into project management or team management. Um, and, and in order to do that, you need to have some basic, basic understanding of economics because you're going to be managing a project. So this course provides a lot of the, uh, um, the background information on how to, uh, to go about that. It, 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 you know, we won't really be getting into a lot of, you know, complex um, calculations just because, you know, um, for a lot of you guys, this, this is your first time seeing economics. It was, it was my first, when I taught this last year, it was the first time for me too. Um, but it at least, you know, get, get you into the right, you know, terminology, the right mindsets and the right uh, foundation on which, you know, you can build on, you can build on that to, uh, to do project management. Okay. Thank you. Yeah.
Welcome everybody. So uh, if you just if you're just joining us, um, you know we still have about five more minutes until the lecture begins. But if you have any questions about the course or just the virtual instruction um, that I can answer before we get started today, um, I'm I'd be happy to answer. So you can either uh, ask your question through your microphone uh, if you feel comfortable doing that, or you can ask in the chat, um, and I'll answer from the chat. If you message me privately in the chat, then I'll, I'll answer your question uh, privately back in the chat. Looks like we're uh, getting a lot more people joining um, just recently. So uh, welcome everybody. Uh, so we still have a bit of time before the lecture begins. Um, so if you have any questions about the course, um, I know it's going to be a, first of all, this, this is a, a kind of a different engineering course and, you know, we're going to be virtual throughout this whole semester. So if you have any questions about the course or just, you know, the virtual instruction um, that I can answer before we get started, uh, definitely feel free to, to ask. Uh, but welcome to EGME uh, 401. Okay, it's one o'clock, so let's uh, go ahead and get started today. Um, so welcome everybody. Um, so this is EGME 401, uh, Engineering Economics and Professionalism. Um, I think, um, you know, sometimes you have on the first day of, of class, you know, people walk into the wrong classroom, but I think this is a little bit more difficult because you have to click the Zoom link. So hopefully everyone's here for, um, you know, Engineering Economics. Uh, so my name's uh, Professor Justin Tran. Um, you know, you're, you're, you uh, can call me whatever you want. Um, you, I'm, I'm not picky about, you know, what you call me. So you can call me Professor, you can call me Dr. Tran, um, you can call me Justin, you know, uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, so I've been telling everyone that, you know, I, I grew up in the, uh, uh, in the age of online gaming. So, you know, I'm used to being called, 
um, all sorts of things by 12 year olds over the internet. So um, you can even call me things like dick face if you want. But you know, if you if you want to do that, then um, you know, maybe save that for a private email. Because if you uh, if you turn on your mic in the middle of the lecture and say, hey, dick face, I'm, I'm probably not going to uh, acknowledge you or respond to you. So um, at least, you know, keep it respectful in the lectures. But, you know, I, I really don't mind what you what you call me. So whatever you guys feel most comfortable with. Okay, um, so the so this is our first class session for uh, um, for this uh, semester. Um, so my uh, my goals for today is I, I wanted to give um, first just a very brief tour of the Canvas class website, um, just because um, you know I, it's it's a new system. I think you know uh, that I, I think uh, some faculty might have used it last semester, but I think this semester a lot of faculty really jumped on it. Um, so I want to make sure that you know I, I want to show you guys kind of how I've organized it. Um, then I want to just talk briefly about the syllabus, uh, just to kind of highlight some uh, um, uh, some uh, some kind of the most important details about it. Um, and then usually at that point in the first lecture, I have some slides and some pretty pictures and some, and some videos to kind of show you, you know, what this class is going to be all about. But, you know, I, I thought since this is such a unique class, you know, I have kind of an activity or, or a game um, that we're going to play, you know, probably for the last um, hour to 45 minutes of the class um, that seemed to go over pretty well last year. So um, it's, it's going to be a challenge to do it virtually, but I think, you know, we can do it. Right? Uh, okay, so before we uh, jump into it, are there any questions that uh, you guys have about the class or just the virtual instruction that I can answer? Um, just any kind of burning questions you have you want to ask right off the bat? Good. Oh, Joshua, did you have a question? No, I'm good. Okay. Any, uh, any questions before we uh, get started? Uh, I think we're all good. Okay, so let's go ahead. So I'm gonna go share my screen. All right, can everyone see my, uh, my screen? Uh, yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so here's the uh, Canvas course website. So if you're, if you're not sure on how to get there, uh, you can access, access it from your My Fullerton portal. Um, so you can just search Canvas into the side and then it, it should be there. And you know, since you're since you're enrolled in this class, this should be a, a um, you know one of the the ones that show up on your dashboard. So when you click on the class, this is kind of the the first page that shows up for you. So this is the the home page, and I and I basically designed this home page just that you kind of access every everything that's really important for for the class. Right? Um, so here we have the name of the course. Um, here we have my name, my email. Right? So you can click this. You can see like my you know weird Tinder profile thing that I wrote um, over the summer. Um, I won't read it. I won't read it now. Um, so here's the description of the course. Uh, here's the learning objective. So if, if you've had me as a, as a professor before, you know I love my learning objectives. So what these learning objectives basically describe are, um, you know, you notice that everyone, um, every one of these starts with the verb. Uh, and I do that by design because, you know, by the end of the course, what I want you to be able to say is that, yes, I can describe the role and purpose of engineering economic analysis. Um, and I can do that and I can show you, I can show it to you right now, right? Um, so, you know, that's, that's, what I, that's what I really want for these learning objectives is they're kind of like organizing, um, um, you know, statements um, to basically kind of keep the course organized and to kind of really make sure that, you know, you guys, everything that I do and everything that I make you guys do kind of supports these learning objectives. So I, I find that it keeps it uh, organized and, you know, it keeps things really moving. So here you can click um, this link, you can download the syllabus, so it's in PDF form. So we'll be going over that in a second. So here's all of our Zoom links. So here's the lecture. So, uh, you know, everyone here obviously has found that. And then here are all the Zoom links for the office hours. So I have three different office hours. Um, and, you know, I, I changed these, um, you know, and I set these to have one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one in the evening. Um, mostly just to kind of, I know you guys, I know your guys' schedules are always kind of all over the place. And I can, you know, especially now it's, it's, it's tough. So I want to try to make myself as available as possible, but if none of these times work for you, um, you know, I'm always open to, uh, to having a, um, kind of a, like a, an appointment. So just send me an email, say, you know, I, I want to chat about something and, you know, we can, we can make an appointment that works for, for both of our schedules. Okay. So next we have the discord link. Um, so a lot of you guys have joined the discord server already. So that's uh, great, but uh, someone was saying that this uh, this link wasn't working, so maybe I'll uh, I'll create a new link um, and, and link it here. Um, but since you know we're missing out on on the in-person instruction, um, you know we're kind of missing out on you know those kind of small interactions that you have with your classmates. Like um, you know you come in on the first day, you know you sit down and you know very uncomfortably in, in a small room, um, you know and you say hey you know my name is you know so and so you meet new friends and you make you know study buddies. 
but you know virtually you know we're, we're missing all that because you know we're, we're sitting in the zoom room all in our own uh, in our own home so what I thought was, you know, I wanted to create a space for you guys to kind of interact um, kind of informally, organize study groups, maybe ask questions about the class. Um, and Discord kind of seemed to be the best option to do that. So um, it's not a requirement, um, but, you know, if, if you, uh, I, I, you know, I want this to basically just be a, you know, a positive thing for you guys. So, you know, if you want to join it, um, then the link is here for you. I'll probably update this after the lecture today. Um, you know, and you can use that you know, however you want. So I'll, I'll pop in every now and then just to make sure that everyone's still being polite and, uh, and nice to each other. But um, that Discord server is really for you guys just to, uh, to use as kind of you see, you see fit. Okay, um, so then at the bottom of the homepage here, we have our course outline. So you can see I have like the, the entire semester here broken down week by week. Okay? And you can see that uh, right now, most of the, the, uh, most of the outline is grayed out. Um, but you can click the first week because we're in the first week. Okay? And then what you can see here is I've uh, basically, I've written a, a short description of what we're going to cover this week. I've written our learning objectives. Um, so these are kind of the um, you know, learning objectives that, we, that I hope to accomplish by the end of this week. Okay. Um, all the lectures will be recorded. So you should see a little red um, recording button on the Zoom call. Um, and so usually I put up the, the, um, the uh, recorded lectures onto YouTube within 24 hours after the lecture. Okay. Um, so since each week has two lectures, I've put two spots here. Okay. Um, and then here, I also have the assignments for the week. So right now you have one assignment. Um, so a lot of you guys have done this already. So, uh, so thank you very much. Um, but for those of you who haven't, um, basically what I want you to do for this first homework assignment is just send me an email. Um, and it's going to be due on Sunday at 1159. Okay. So I'll let, I'll let you read the details about this, but basically, you know, I just want, I just want to learn, you know, more about you guys because, um, you know, especially for such a unique class like this, I think there's a lot of ways that, um, or there's, there's a lot of flexibility that's kind of built into the class. So, you know, I, I really want to get to know, you know, what are your career goals after graduating? You know, what specific, is there anything specific that you want to learn from the class um, so that I can tailor the class to kind of be as useful to everyone as, as possible? So you don't have to answer all these questions, but these questions are, are mostly just here to guide your, your response in case, you know, you're having trouble thinking what to say. Okay. Okay, and then after the assignments is the files. Um, so right now, um, you know, there's one file here. So that's the, uh, the lecture notes, which we uh, will start covering on Thursday. Um, so I, I, uh, uh, I upload all my lecture notes. Um, they're gonna be in PDF format, so you can download them here from the, the week viewer. So um, if, you're, if you're familiar with Titanium, and, and you know, I, I've previously used Titanium in kind of like a like week by week organizer, um, I'm basically doing the same thing with Canvas, but it looks a little bit nicer. All right, are there any questions uh, so far? Nah. Okay. Um, so that's the home page. So hopefully that's, uh, um, you know, th this is uh, going to be your one-stop shop. But you can see, um, you know, there, there's a few more tabs here. So let's go ahead and visit them. So for, first we have announcements. So this is uh, basically where I'm going to go um, to basically send, if I have something I need to say for the entire class, I'll basically make an announcement here. Um, so these, um, so if Canvas, you know, if you're enrolled in the class, will automatically email you with the contents of the message. So you can see I have one announcement so far, and this is the uh, the email that I sent you guys on Sunday. Okay. Um, but if you ever wanted to uh, to kind of see a summary of all the announcements, you can check that here. But um, since you know, since the um, the system emails you, you know, you'll get all this stuff through email. Okay. So the next tab is assignments. So this is kind of a nice tab here to kind of summarize the uh, any kind of upcoming assignments that are um, um, that you that are due pretty soon. Um, so basically, whenever I create a homework assignment, or you know, in, in our in our case, the exams, which will be conducted virtually, um, and also the final project, you know, you'll see all that information here. So if you're going to turn if you're going to turn in your uh, your homework assignments, your PDFs, um, this is where you would need to go. All right. So next tab is grades. So this is pretty self-explanatory. So this is where you can uh, find a summary of all your graded assignments. Um, so it's, I, I, I like the, the layout that, uh, that Canvas does. So I think it's, it's a very clean layout. So uh, basically, whenever I grade something, um, you'll see it show up here. Right? Um, and depending on, on how you have your Canvas notifications, I think it might send you an email whenever I grade something. Um, so whenever you get that email, you know, come check this page. Because uh, I, I think just for privacy reasons, it doesn't tell you what grade you got in the, in the email. Right? All right, so the next tab is people. So you can see the list of everyone that's enrolled in the class. And there's me, the only weirdo with the profile picture, right? Okay, and the last tab is files. So this is, uh, you know, 
probably probably besides the home page and, and probably grades, this is probably the uh, the tab you'll come to the most. Because uh, any file that I upload for the class will be stored here. So you can kind of think of this as kind of like the Dropbox for the uh, for the class. Um, so there will be links to, you know, basically every important file that you guys need. I'll, I'll have links to it, you know, from the course outlines that I showed you before. Right. But if you wanted to just download a very specific file and you, you know, you don't want to go through the, uh, you know, you don't remember what week it was, um, then you can come here and do this. So I, I have different folders here. So uh, the first one is assignments. Um, so basically all the homework assignments uh, will be here. Um, next, I have the lecture notes. So all the PDF lecture notes will be in here. Um, next is the live lecture notes. So starting on Thursday, I'm going to be, uh, you know, basically writing notes on my iPad um, as if, you know, it were a whiteboard. So I'm going to upload those notes as well. Um, so you can access those here. Um, any solutions that I do um, for the homework assignments for the exams, you can find it in here. So if you're looking for a very specific file that, you know, you, you don't really remember what week uh, I posted in, this is, this is where you would want to come. All right, are there uh, any questions on the Canvas site? Okay. Um, so let's go over the, the syllabus really quickly. Okay. Um, so this is just the, the PDF syllabus that you can download from the, uh, from the course website. So uh, if you want to download that and follow along, you're, you're welcome to. But um, I'll basically be having it on screen so I can guide you through it. Okay. Um, so a lot of this information is, is on the course website, so I'm going to, you know, skip over a lot of it. Okay? And let's go over to, uh, to some of the things that aren't on the course website. Okay? Um, so um, let's talk about deliverables. So right now I, I've uh, planned seven homework assignments. Um, so we'll have three homework assignments before midterm one, uh, three homework assignments before midterm two. Um, and then once we get to the ethics um, part of the class, then there's going to be one uh, writing assignment that I want you guys to do. Okay? Uh, there'll be two midterm exams, uh, both of which will be conducted virtually. Okay? And then also one final group project. So, um, you know, instead of a final, a final exam for this class doesn't really make all that much sense. Um, so I uh, decided to have a final group project instead. And it kind of goes with the themes of, you know, this class is, you can kind of think of this class as kind of like the soft skills of, uh, of engineering um, that they don't teach you in other classes. So they just kind of jammed it all here. So part of the soft skills that you need is, is you know, learning how to effectively work in groups. So, you know, that's what this, uh, this project is going to, uh, you know, test, test you guys on things. Okay. okay, so here's all the planned dates um, for the exam. So midterm one is going to be Thursday, September 29th. Midterm two is going to be uh, Thursday, November 5th. Um, so the final presentations will be the entire week of, uh, the entire last week of class. So that'll be Tuesday and Thursday, uh, December 8th and 12th. Okay. And then your final report will be due the Monday after finals week. Um, so I know that's kind of, you know, that's kind of pushing it right up until Christmas, but um, I know finals week is always really crazy for you guys. So I wanted to give you a little bit more flexibility um, in turning it in. Um, but, you know, you're, of course, free to turn it, turn it in earlier. And actually, it would kind of help me out a lot because then I don't have to rush into the grading uh, all that much. Okay. okay, now, so now we have the, uh, the grade breakdown. So you can see the homeworks the mid and the midterms are all worth 15%. Okay. So I have a category here for in-class discussions. So this, uh, this won't take um, into effect uh, until we get to the ethics portion of the class, which is uh, gonna be the last five weeks. Um, so, you know, once kind of what's necessary in order to teach ethics is to kind of, you know, discuss it, you know, and, and to kind of, you know, share your own views, share your own experiences. So, um, you know, once we get to that part of the class, you know, I'm expecting basically everyone to, uh, to contribute to the class discussion. You know, I'll, I'll put everyone in small groups, but, you know, um, don't be a, a wallflower during that time. So, um, you know, part of your grade will be that. And then a, a big part of your grade, 45% will be the final project. And then depending on how your, uh, your final um, course grade ends up, the final percentage, uh, here's how the letter grades will be assigned. Okay. Um, but I don't do just the uh, straight grading like this. So if you've had me before, you know that I do uh, grade scaling. And so what that means is that, um, you know, basically after all the grades are input and I, you know, I can you know, easily see kind of the overall class average of the class. Um, and if that's lower than kind of what I, I want it to be, um, then I'm going to add a flat amount of points to everyone's grades in order to kind of boost everyone up. Okay. Um, so let's say that, you know, my, um, my target is to have, you know, an average of a, of a C. So, you know, that would be a class average of 76%. Okay. So if the class average was um, 70% at the end of the class, I would basically add six percentage points to everyone's grades such that, you know, we'll bump up to that average. Okay. Um, so because of that, you know, because it depends on, you know, how everyone's doing in the class, it, it's hard for me to say what that, uh, how much I'm going to scale, but um, and actually, you know, for last semester, because of the virtual, I ended up not really doing that much scaling. But, um, you know, this this number will be more clear kind of as we go about the class. So, you know, I'll keep you guys updated on how everything's going. And then, um, 
you know, you'll, you can get a better picture of, you know, what your grade's going to look like. Okay. okay, so let's talk textbooks. So the textbooks aren't required, um, just because both of these aren't very good, honestly. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I don't require the textbooks. Um, you know, I, I do upload all my lecture notes, so you'll have those as reference for the course. But, you know, if you're interested um, in, uh, you know, um, seeing um, kind of more detail and more examples of, uh, you know, the, the, the stuff I cover in lecture, um, then the textbooks might, might be um, good to pick up as a reference. Okay. So the recommended, um, but, you know, obviously you don't need to get these versions because getting the most uh, recent version is um, really expensive because um, the textbook industry is run by the mafia. But uh, so if you can find a, 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 a like an older version or, uh, you know, um, for much cheaper, um, then definitely uh, I would recommend doing that. Okay. okay, so the course website is Canvas. So we went over that. Uh, we went over the Discord server. Okay. So let's go over the course policies. So uh, late homeworks. Uh, so I do accept late homeworks just because I know that, you know, it just tends to happen that, you know, uh, faculty, we all put our due dates on the same day. So, you know, you might not have time to do the homework. So I want to give you a chance to turn in the homeworks late. Um, but each day that it's late, I have to dock off 10%, so up to a maximum of 50%. Okay? And so I do this just to make sure that you guys are staying up to date on the homeworks, because, you know, it doesn't really help you to do homework one in like, you know, weeks um, 14 of the class, you know, when we're not even, when I'm not even going to test you on that stuff anymore anyway. So, um, so, you know, I want to give you some flexibility, but I do want you to stay on top of the homeworks just so it, it's useful for you guys. Okay? And at the end of the semester, I'll drop your lowest homework grade. So that'll be done automatically through, through Canvas. Okay? Okay, so for the exam, so there's uh, there's no plans for the uh, for the makeups um, um, for the midterm exams, but you know I, I do know that you know especially now you know a lot of you guys are juggling some other things. So you know if you if you think that you know you're going to need more time or you know um, you're not going to be ready for exam, just let me know early, um, just so that we can make accommodations. Um, you know I'll, I'll still try my best. You know if you email me, you know ten minutes before the exam, but it's it's it would be a lot easier if you email me kind of a, a you know a week or a few days in advance, just so you know we can prepare for and make accommodations. Okay. Professor, uh, so the exam is going to be during our lecture? So it'll be, I'll give you longer than that because um, I know there's, there's, it's not only you have to do the exam, but you know, you also have to uh, scan it and upload the PDFs because, you know, there's no way for me to physically collect the exam. So I'll, I'll give you extra time on, on the exams. Um, I'm still kind of debating how much extra time I'm, I'm going to give. Last year, our last semester when we did virtual, I gave everyone 24 hours for the exam. Um, but then everyone's, but then when I did that, basically everyone's exams look basically the same, which was like word for word, um, you know, copies from my lecture notes. So um, I don't want that, um, but you know, I, I do want to give you guys flexibility to, uh, to scan and, and upload. Um, so I, I don't want, I don't, I never want time to be an issue on the exams, um, but you know, I, I, we still need to kind of limit it to, to a certain degree. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Are there uh, any other questions? I think this is a good time to, to stop um, on the syllabus before we move on. Do you have a uh, preferred method on how to scan the documents? Um, I, don't, um, I, I don't really care all too much as, as long as I can read it. The only thing I, I would ask is that you would upload your documents as a single PDF, because um, that's kind of the easiest for me to, uh, um, you know, to open and read. Um, what happened last semester was some students would upload, like, you know, for like a final exam, they'd upload like you know, 17, 18 JPEGs um, all with random names. So like, it was really hard to tell what order, you know, I should read the, the JPEGs in. Um, so that was kind of a nightmare. So if you can, um, upload it as a single PDF, you know, with everything in the correct order, that would help me, um, out a lot, but how you produce that PDF, it, it doesn't matter uh, to me as long as I can read it. And as long as it's in a, a single PDF. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you know like what type of questions we're going to have on the exam? Like explanation, yeah, so is it on like a multiple choice or? Yeah, so um, my exams, they um, almost always have two portions. So the first portion is going to be a short answer um, portion. Um, so that's usually worth 40% of the points. So uh, there I, I ask you conceptual questions where you need to answer in basically, you know, three to four or five sentences. Um, so that's basically testing your conceptual understanding of the material. And after that, I have, um, you know, um, problems. So a lot, of, a lot of times those problems have multiple parts. Um, so you're going to need to work out some, uh, um, you know, some calculations for that. Um, and for, you know, everything on the exam, you know, because, you know, it's because I, I do everything, a lot of it's a lot of free writing. So I, I give a lot of partial credit on the exam. So, you know, one thing I don't like about kind of like true and false and, and multiple choice is that it's, it's hard to give partial credit on those things. So, you know, I, uh, you know, the exams, they take a, a little bit to write because you have to show, you have to write out your explanations and show all your work. But I think it, I think it's good just because it allows me to kind of give you guys uh, partial credit for, for those things. 
Okay. So there's there's a suggestion in the in the chat. So it said the best app to take pictures with and upload is Cam Scanner. So yeah, that's uh, that sounds like a good good option. So I um, so if you uh, haven't heard of that, then that's probably a, a good thing to do. Any other questions before we uh, we're almost done with the syllabus? Um, before we move on. Um. So I have a class right after this. Mm -hmm. You have I'm, a class right after this. Did I get time? Yeah, so yes. that's, yeah, so I'm, I'm, that's, that's, that's what, I think that's the biggest constraining factor right now, because, like, originally I was thinking of, you know, maybe I'll give you guys, like, um, you know, like, tw twice as much time, so, um, to, on, on the exam, so instead of, like, 75 minutes, I'd give you, you know, 150 minutes, but if you have another class after this, you know, that's not really fair for you, so, um, I'm, I'm still kind of thinking about, you know, what would be the best thing to, uh, to do, um, and I'm, I'm, I, I think, you know, what I'm going to end up doing is that, um, you know, I can uh, I can use some of the tools that are on Canvas that will that basically has a separate timer for how long you can do the um, exam. So um, I'll look into it, and then you know, as as we get closer to the first exam, then um, you know, um, I'll I'll let you guys know. So that was my original plan, but um, but someone told me literally uh, yesterday that you know that wouldn't work if you have something right after this. So I I, I have to change my I have to change uh, my plan a little bit. Okay, sounds. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, any, uh, any more questions? Okay, um, so regrades. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm human just like you guys. So, you know, I make mistakes when I grade, um, you know, your homework assignments and exams. So, you know, definitely feel free if you feel like, you know, I, I've made a mistake or you feel like you deserve more points, um, definitely let me know. Um, but, you know, the, the only restriction that I have is that, you know, if you do want to regrade, you have to do it within one week of when I return, uh, return it to you. Um, and the reason I do this is because, you know, when I grade your stuff, I don't just say right or wrong. I, I, I leave, you know, I like to leave a lot of comments uh, to give you guys feedback on, you know, what, you know, what I think you can do to kind of improve these things. Um, and it really doesn't do you any good to read those comments like weeks after we've taken the exam. So, you know, I do want you guys to read those comments. Um, as soon as you get them, because, uh, you know, that's, that's what's going to be most useful to you. Right. And so to kind of encourage that, you know, um, I have this week limit on the regrade. So, um, so make sure that, you know, whenever I do return stuff to you, you're looking at it right away and any mistakes that I made, uh, definitely let me know uh, as soon as possible. Right? Okay. So email. So everyone's um, basically done a good job of this, but, uh, just to kind of help organize, cause I'm teaching three different classes this semester. You know, anytime you send me an email, please include uh, EG me 401, uh, in the subject, uh, in the subject line. Uh, what a lot of you guys do is you do eGME 401 and then, um, you know, whatever subject that you are asking a question about. Um, so this, this really just helps me keep uh, my emails organized. Um, so it would be great if you guys can do that and um, it would help me respond faster. So usually I'm really good with email, so I'll, I'll respond to you most of the time within a day, um, unless I went to sleep already. Um, but at, at the latest, I'll, I'll, I'll respond to you within 48 hours. So, um, and having this, uh, you know, the class name and number in front um, will help me quite a bit. Okay, academic dishonesty. So, um, you know, just like, you know, just because we're virtual, we, the same policies still apply. So, you know, academic dishonesty is not going to be tolerated. And, you know, I, I tell this to all my classes where, you know, you're, you're in this class to, uh, to learn something, right? Um, so by cheating, basically, you're, uh, you know, you're kind of um, short, you're kind of shortchanging yourself, right? You're paying, you know, all this money to attend the school and, and to learn skills that are going to be useful to you in, in your job. But if you cheat, you know, you're not really learning those skills. So, um, you know, it's, it's, for me, it's, it's kind of, that's something I feel like that I've kind of failed as an instructor too. Um, so, you know, I, I ask this for all my students where like, you know, if you're ever struggling in the course or, you know, you feel like you're not going to be prepared for an exam or anything like that, just come talk to me first. Like I'm not, I'm, I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to criticize you. I'm, I'm not here to, you know, talk down to you, lecture you or anything like that. Um, I'm always here to help you guys. So, you know, my goal is always to have every student succeed in the class and, you know, if you're struggling with the class or, you know, you're, you're having trouble keeping up, you know, just talk to me, right? Um, you know, there's always something that can be done. There's always, you know, arrangements that can be made, accommodations, right? Um, and I want to be able to have that opportunity before you resort to academic dishonesty. So uh, please give me a chance because, you know, if, if you do commit academic dishonesty, you know, the, the punishments are really severe. So, you know, at the very least, you'll get a zero on that assignment. Um, but if it's on like an exam or something or the final project, you know, I have to refer you to student conduct. Um, and I have to fail you from the course. So, you know, I really don't like doing that. Um, so please, you know, give me a chance before, you know, we have to go down that route. Okay. Um, and here's the outline of the class, which you saw on, um, on the, uh, the course website. 
Um, so are there any questions on the syllabus before we, uh, we do our activity? Nah. Okay. So here's our uh, activity. So um, this is actually really nice. So we, we, we have like uh, 41 people in the class, uh, in the, on the Zoom call right now. So this is gonna be uh, pretty fun. Um, so um, basically what I'm, I'm going to do is that I'm gonna split you guys into nine different teams. Um, or you guys will split, um, you know, I'll let you guys choose the groups. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to give each of you, each of the nine teams a, uh, um, basically a project spec. So the, the idea with this uh, activity is that you want to build a robot. Okay? Um, so a robot has at least four parts. So it needs a chassis, it needs a motor, it needs wheels, it needs electronics. Okay? Um, so you're not, you know, obviously we're not actually going to build a robot, but what you're going to be in charge of is actually buying the parts for the robot. Um, and you can see, you know, depending on the level of the uh, uh, equipment, you know, there's different prices. Okay? Um, and depending on the type of robot that you're going, so every team has to build a different robot and each of the robots have different, um, um, you know, uh, requirements. So, you know, a certain robot might need level two chassis, but then a, level, a certain other kind of robot that might be higher budget might need a level four chassis. So, you know, make sure you read your project, um, your, uh, um, your requirements um, well. Okay? Um, and every team will have a budget. So, you know, you're not gonna have an endless amount of money. So, you know, uh, depending on the company that you end up working for, um, they're only gonna give you a certain amount of money. So you need to be able, you basically need to be able to purchase all the parts with the budget that you have, okay? Um, but the way it's gonna work is that, you know, it's, it's not just gonna be a free for all. You guys aren't just gonna, you know, go up to the board and, uh, well, there's no board here, but um, you're not just gonna be able to get um, parts just uh, willy nilly. So you guys are gonna take turns, okay? Um, so only one team at a time is going to be able to, to purchase parts. So we're going to start with team one and go all the way down to team nine. And then for the second round, we're going to reverse it. So um, we're going to basically do a snake draft if you're familiar with that. So team one to nine, and then the second round is going to be team nine to one. And then we're going to go like that. Okay? And then as the parts get purchased, you know, the, uh, you know, the, you know, say like first round team one bought chassis level one. So now there would only be one left. Okay? Um, but the important thing to note is that these uh, these prices that you see here are not going to be static. Okay, so uh, there's, so there's such a thing as supply and demand. So um, so what's going to happen every time when you know um, it may, it's uh, it it happens such that you know there's only one part left, then the supply for that part said, hey, you know we only have one part left. Let's uh, let's raise the prices. Okay? So let's say that you know uh, team one buys the level one chassis, and then you know the supplier of this said, hey, we only have one left. So let's increase the price to 100. Okay. Right. So you have to be strategic. So you have to, uh, you know, buy the parts, you know, when they're a good price. Okay. Um, so, you know, price increases could happen throughout the, uh, throughout the game, but there could also be sales too. So, um, you know, you might wait for a good opportunity to do that. Okay? Um, and one other thing that you'll, you'll need to know is that, you know, on your, on your, um, your robot specifications, you'll see that there are some deadlines too. So um, in order to kind of basically satisfy or in order to uh, properly build your robot, you, you will need to buy certain parts, um, you know, before a certain, uh, before a certain term. Okay. Um, so make sure you keep that in mind as well. Okay. So there's a kind of a lot going on, but you know, I think once you guys read the project descriptions, then it'll make a bit more sense. So I, I don't want to show any cause it's part of the game is, you know, um, each team doesn't really uh, know what the other ones are doing. Okay? So the question is, is this for our project later in the semester? No. So this is completely unrelated. So, um, so for the project, you're going to make all new teams and it's going to be, uh, it's, it's going to be something else. So this is, this is just kind of a fun activity just for the first day. So it's not going to be graded. So, you know, don't worry if you um, end up, you know, not getting all the parts of your robot or you, you'll go over budget by a thousand dollars. So it's, uh, it's, it's okay. It's, it's just for, uh, it's just a kind of fun activity for the, for the first day. Okay. okay any, uh, any questions on, uh, on this? Oh, one more thing. So, uh, so some, so some of the teams you'll have um, another thing to purchase called your special. So that's kind of a special gadget or a special gizmo that's that's unique to your robot. Okay. Um, so the the thing with the special is that you can purchase that at any time during the during the game. Um, so if you if you don't really see a good move for you um, from um, what's on the board, you can purchase your special that turn too. Okay. But their special also costs costs money. Okay? All right. Any questions on on this before we uh, we get started? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the breakout room feature in Zoom. So I'm going to create nine breakout rooms. Um, so I'll give you guys the uh, um, the ability to uh, um, to switch between the rooms. Okay.
right? And even, even the waitlist people you guys can join in too. Okay. All right, let's see. I thought there was a, a way to uh, have you guys join the breakout rooms yourselves. This is actually my first time using the breakout rooms feature. Okay, so I, I think for now I'm going to add uh, just just in the interest of time, just to make sure we have enough time to uh, um, um, to finish. I'm going to have you guys uh, um, go. I'm going to have it automatically assign you guys to the rooms. Okay. All right, let's see. Ah. Okay. All right, so you guys are team one. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna share the uh, um, kind of the, the board that I showed you guys earlier. So here's the, uh, the board for that. Okay. Or let me share it with just, uh, I'll, share, I'll share it with Juan. Okay. And then I'll also share the, um, your project specs, okay? Okay, um, so what you guys need to do is uh, I'm going to give you guys maybe like five, ten minutes to basically read over your project specs and and, uh, and strategize. Okay, um, I would recommend that you guys create like a like a Twitch room um, or a, a a Discord room so that you guys can chat while the while the game is going because I'm going to have everyone kind of rejoin the room, um, the main room after this. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, so you, uh, you guys have about five, ten minutes to discuss. Okay. Professor, you're muted. Uh. Uh, professor, you're muted. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to send the project specs to Carter, um, and then I'm going to um, uh, let you guys kind of, you guys have like five, 10 minutes to discuss it and kind of strategize. So. Uh, one thing that um, I would recommend you guys do is to make like a, like a chat room with just you guys just so that you can discuss because uh, once we kind of rejoin the main room, it's, it's going to be hard to kind of discuss between um, you guys because I'm going to close these, uh, these breakout rooms after that. Okay? So let me send Carter the, uh, the documents. Are you just sending it to me on, uh, on what are you sending it to me on? I'm sending it on the Zoom chat. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, so there's the uh, so that was the, the spreadsheet that I saw that you saw earlier. Just in case you know you want to strategize, and the second link is your uh, project specs. Okay, all right. So I need to talk to the other team. So go ahead and uh, take a look and uh, take some time to strategize. Okay. All right, sounds good. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, team three. Um, so uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to send uh, Joshua the uh, the documents. Okay. Um, so I'll basically send you Dropbox links where you can download the, the PDFs. Okay. And basically, uh, you'll have this, you'll basically have this breakout room for five to 10 minutes, um, and you'll be able to strategize from, uh, from here. Okay. Um, so I'd recommend that you guys uh, create like a, like a Twitch, um, um, uh, kind of a, um, oh, uh, 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 kind of a, a separate chat room for you guys. And then just so uh, you guys can chat while we um, go back. Okay. Um, so I need to go see the other teams. Okay. Hey guys, yeah, sorry, it's, uh, yeah, it's my first time using the breakout rooms feature. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, send um, Justin the, uh, the document. So I'm gonna send him the, the spreadsheet that you saw earlier. Um, and then I'm gonna send you the, uh, um, um, the, uh, your project specs, okay? So you guys have about five, 10 minutes to discuss this and kind of strategize. So I would recommend that you guys create your own um, kind of Discord um, channel, um, just so um, um, you know, just so you guys can discuss once we uh, rejoin the uh, um, the main the main chat. Okay. Okay. Um, so go ahead and uh, start. You guys can start discussing that. I need to go join the other groups. 
Okay, team five. So, uh, so sorry, it's uh, taking me a little bit to, to get around, but uh, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the, uh, the files to Blake, um, just because his name showed up first on the, uh, on the top. Okay. So here, first I'm going to give you the uh, kind of the prices and the amounts of all the parts that you saw earlier. And then also here's your PDF, okay? which is your project specs. All right, so you guys have about five, 10 minutes to, uh, to, um, to take a look at these and kind of strategize before I bring everyone back together. for the game. Okay, and we're supposed to be doing what with this information? Right, so, uh, so what's gonna happen after the, the game starts is that you know, everyone's gonna take turns uh, buying parts for the robot and you wanna make sure that you, know, you get all the parts that you need that satisfy your project specs. Okay? Um, so after you read the project specs, it, it should hopefully be a little bit more, uh, a little more clear. Gotcha. Okay. So that was team five, team six. Oh, uh, team six. Yeah, sorry about that. It's uh, it's taking me a little while to to get around to everyone. Um, it's okay. Yeah. Um. So ba so. Uh, I think someone get out of our groups because we are only three. I oh. I don't know what's going on. Um. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, you guys, you guys can. It's uh. Sometimes it's better to have a uh, less uh, less voices in the kitchen. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to, because Jonathan's name showed up first, I'm going to send him the documents. Um, so I'm going to give you guys the, uh, all the parts and, you know, the amounts and the prices that you guys saw earlier. Okay. And then I'm also going to send you your project specs. Okay. So you guys have about, have about five, 10 minutes to uh, read the specs and uh, strategize. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to bring everyone back together and then we're going to start the, uh, start the game. Okay. Okay. okay so I'm going to join uh, a different group. All right, team seven. So uh, sorry, it's, it's taking me a little bit of time to get around to everyone. This is this is a lot easier in the classroom when everyone's just sitting close to each other. Um, okay. Um, so since Drew's name shows up first on the list, I'm going to send him all the files. Um, so basically, I'm going to send you. I'm going to send him the uh, the spreadsheet, which has all the parts and the prices. Okay. And I'm also going to send him your project um, specs or your project requirements. Right. So you guys have about uh, ten, uh, five, ten minutes in here uh, to basically strategize. Um, and then uh, I'll bring everyone back and then we'll start the game, okay? All right, I need to join some of the other groups. Oh my boy. Oh, there he is. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. It, it's taken me a while to, uh, to get around to everyone. Um, but this is a lot easier in the classroom. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, since Kang's name uh, shows up first on my list, I'm gonna send him all the files. So here is the uh, um, spreadsheet. And then here is your project specs. So this uh, lists out your project requirements, okay? Um, okay. Um, so you guys have about five, 10 minutes to strategize. Um, um, and then I'm going to bring everyone back together. So one thing that'll help you guys uh, once the game starts is that you create your kind of your own discord um, kind of group chat with you guys. Uh, Cause once everyone comes back together, um, you know, it's, it's going to be hard to talk, but uh, you can use your, you can use your mics if you want, but um, I think it will be easier to kind of discuss in, in secret. Okay? okay. So I'm going to uh, go to the last group now. Oh yeah. Thanks. All right, group nine. So you guys are the, are the last one. So yeah, sorry about that. It's uh, this is definitely a lot easier in uh, in person um, than uh, jumping around all the breakout rooms. Uh, okay, so I'm going to uh, send the files to Simran. Right? So I'm going to send you the uh, basically the spreadsheet of all the parts that and prices that you saw before. Right, and I'm going to send you got and I'm going to send you your uh, your project specs. Okay. Um, so basically, you guys are going to have five, 10 minutes here to discuss before we start the game. Right. Um, and so one thing I recommend is that if you guys, uh, um, you know, once once this uh, once this breakout room ends, um, basically, we're going to, um, you know, be all together again. So if you want to discuss your strategies in secret, I recommend that you guys um, make like a like your own private discord room uh, in order to, to do that. Okay. okay. Um, so you guys have five, 10 minutes to strategize and then I will uh, um, bring everyone back together. Okay. All right, team one. So how are you guys, uh, how are you guys doing? Was my, I think my mic was off earlier. So I think uh, you guys uh, didn't hear me uh, um, 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 kind of give instructions, but um, was everything kind of clear from your, uh, from the instructions here? Yeah, it was clear. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you guys have uh, your own um, Discord uh, private chat room just so you can strategize. I mean, you can you can talk if you if you don't mind. Um, you know, you can talk during the uh, you know when everyone comes back together. But if you want to discuss secretly, you can make your own chat room for that because um, the breakout rooms are going to get in last. I'll probably call it at at uh, one forty five. Okay. Okay. So let me okay. join um, group two. 
the we one have that plus all the level ones chassis motor and wheels that'll be our actual budget 375 yeah i think we should probably try and buy uh the electronics first because if we're team two and they have to be at least level two we can buy the uh electronics at whatever level all right team three how, how are you guys doing uh where can we find the game chart uh wait a second where where can we find the chart the game chart oh um oh you say the uh, the chart that i had earlier yeah that was the uh, that was the first file i sent to uh, to joshua so let me uh, i'll send it again that wasn't like the assignment, right? No, no. Oh, because I, I got this. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I got it. All right, do you see the, uh, do you see the chart? I think he's on the phone or something. Oh, okay. yeah, I got it. Um, yeah, I'm going to send it to everyone in the group right now. Okay, great. Um, so I'll probably call the uh, I'll probably call everyone back at one forty five. So you guys have about three more minutes. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, Team Four, how are you guys doing? Good. Good. You guys got you guys got the files okay? I sorry I had to kind of take off quickly because uh, all the other rooms needed the files too. But everything kind of makes sense about you know um, the activity. Yeah, I think so. Okay, great. So, um, so when when each team like are you going to go through each room and then update the that Dropbox file or? So I'm going to basically call everyone back together and you know, we'll, we'll play it in, in real time. So, um, so if you guys want to discuss kind of um, in secret like this, um, you know, I would uh, recommend you make like a Discord chat room for you guys. But um, if you don't mind, you, you can just talk um, in the lecture, um, you know, and kind of discuss what, what your next move could be. Um, but I'm going to bring everyone back just so you can kind of see it update kind of in, in, in real time. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'm I'm probably gonna call this at 1:45. So uh, you guys have a couple more minutes, okay? Chassis. Yeah. Right, team, team five, how are you guys doing? Everything kind of makes sense about the uh, the activity. What's our budget? So your budget should be at the bottom of the uh, of the of the project specs PDF that I, I sent you. Did you guys get that one? We didn't get. Can you can you see my screen? I can see. Yeah, I can see the. Uh, um, I can just see the uh, um, the spreadsheet, but you guys didn't get the. Uh, um, the second one. So I sent you two links, um, Blake. So uh, are the oh okay? Let me, let me pull pick up that those? second link right now. Wait, say again. What was the question? I saw I'm like tick. There we go. All right, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so your budget is uh, two thousand. Yep. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So like what are those tick marks? Are those how many people can pick those items? Yeah, so that's that's the supply basically. So there's only going to be um, you know that many. So if people buy it out, you know, before you uh, um, you can buy it, then you know you're going to have to get a different level, which you know might be out of your budget or it might it's probably not going to meet your your part requirements. Okay. Okay. Um, so I, I just so we have enough time to to uh, to actually do this, I'm going to call everyone back at one forty um, one forty five. So. Um, Wait, so Dr. Tran, really quick, one more question. Yeah. It says in our requirements that our special is a gigantic bug. Yeah, so you can you can buy the special at any time. So that's that's not on the board. So that's available to you, um, you know, whenever you want. So there's if the board doesn't look good to you and there's there's not a good purchase, you can purchase your special um, on that term. So it's kind of like it kind of gives you some flexibility on you know when you can buy your your parts. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I need to uh, check in with the other room. So I'll, I'll be calling everyone back pretty soon. Two links. All right, Team Six, how are you guys? Uh, how are you guys doing? Not good. Did you guys, uh, Jonathan? Did you get both the files that I uh, I sent you? I only got the one, which is a good one. The, the chart one the that have the prices. Okay. In there. I'll send you the. Uh, so I sent you two links. So the second link should have yeah. the. Uh, I think we have two actually. I'll send, I'll send it uh, again. We didn't notice that. No. Uh, Sorry, I, I do see it. it just it appeared as if it was just one giant one. So oh, see. I see, I see. Yeah, the uh, I, so I sent it to you again. So there's your project requirements. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I just got it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so take a look, quick look at that. So I need to call everyone back pretty soon. Um, but I need to check in on seven, eight, and nine first. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Team Seven, how are you guys doing? So I see that you have the spreadsheet. So you guys got your project specs too, right? So does everyone everything kind of make sense about you know how how this is gonna go? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. 
yeah, you guys have a, it's going to be challenging just because uh, your budget is so tight, but, uh, um, but at least all your parts are really cheap. Um, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call everyone back pretty soon. Um, so I need to check in on teams uh, eight and nine. Um, so just kind of be ready for that. Okay. Sounds good. All right, team uh, eight, uh, how are you guys doing? Does, does everything kind of make sense? Yeah, I think, it, oh, sorry. It just yeah. started making sense right now. Okay, great. <laughs> um, do you guys have any questions um, really quick? Uh, oh. No. Okay. Um, so I got to call everyone back pretty quickly just so we have enough time to actually do this. But, um, oh, yeah. um, but uh, you know, I, I got it. Um, so I'm going to check in on team nine and then I'm going to call everyone back. So just kind of be ready for that. Okay. 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 All right. Team nine, how are you guys doing? So I see that you got the spreadsheet, but um, did you guys get your, uh, your project specs? No. Okay, so I uh, so Simran, I sent you uh, I sent you two links. So it, it might look like kind of one big link, um, but there there's one link on top and then a second link on the bottom. So the second link should have your your project specs. Oh, okay, I see. Um. I can uh, I can send it again. Let me see. Yes, there you go. Yeah, so it might, it, this might make a lot more sense after you, uh, after you read this. Um, okay, so I'll give you guys a, a couple minutes just to, uh, just to kind of go over this, and then I got to call everyone back just so we have enough time to, uh, to play the game. Okay? All right, I'm, gonna go, I'm basically going to go to the bathroom, and then I'm going to call everyone back. Okay? Got it. Thanks. Hey, Professor, I have a question. You're muted. Oh, is it? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, did all the groups get the same requirements or did we get different requirements? Everyone got different requirements. Um, so that's, that's why, you know, there's, uh, there's nine different teams. So, but you, and you don't know what the other team's requirements are. So you don't know what their priorities are, what they're going to buy. Um, so, you know, there's, uh, there's going to be a lot of like, you know, you kind of have to kind of predict the market. Um, but you know this game is just for fun, so uh, so don't you know don't take it too too seriously. But uh, you know I, I thought this was just kind of a, a, a way to, to uh, kind of illustrate just what this class is about, uh, more than just kind of just showing just slides and stuff like that. So um, I have to say that it's it's 100% easier um, when um, we're in person. But you know um, we'll see how this goes. Okay. All right. So everyone is uh, ready to to start. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's start with uh, with team one. So we have to go a little bit fast because we, we have uh, only 25 minutes left. So I'm going to ask you guys for decisions kind of quickly. So kind of make sure that you uh, you know what you need to do. And oh, you know, and uh, you guys are in charge of uh, keeping track of your own budget too. Okay. All right, team one. So uh, what is your move on the on this first turn? What are you going to buy? We're going to buy uh, level four electronics. Level four electronics. Okay. So there are only two left for that. Okay, so next is team two. So team two, what is your, uh, what would you like to buy? Um, we would like to buy the level two electronics. Level two electronics, got it. 
Okay, team three, what is your, uh, what is, um, what is your choice? We would like to buy the level two uh, electronics. Level two electronics, okay. So normally when, uh, when there's only one left here, I, I raise the price, but since, uh, you know, most of the teams haven't got a chance yet, this, uh, this stays the, the same. Okay. So uh, prices will start going up on turn two. Okay. All right, team four, what is your, uh, what would you like to buy? I think we're into level four electronics. Level four electronics, okay. All right, uh, team five. Uh, we're gonna go a level three motor. Level three motor, all right. First motor's off the board. All right, team six. A level four electronics. Level four electronics. Level four electronics are sold out. We want level three wheels. Is that uh, team seven? Six. You said, oh, yes, oh, it was sold out? Or was it before Team oh. Six? Or? Wait, who, now, who just bought the uh, level four electronics? Was that Team me. Six? That was Team yeah, Six. Yeah, Team Six, yeah. Oh, um, yeah, so you only get to buy one thing per turn. So the next sorry, time. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Well, now it's our turn. So my bad. Okay. Uh, team Seven, what is, your, uh, what is your choice? Buy the level one motor. Level one motor. All right. All right, Team Eight. Team eight, are you guys there? Uh, can we get a level two chassis? Level two chassis, got it. All right, team nine. So since we're snaking around, uh, you guys get to make two selections. Team nine, are you guys there? Uh, apologies. Uh, can we get uh, level two wheels and level one electronics then? Level two wheels and level one electronics. Okay. So since your level one electronics took place on turn two, so that's kind of when it first went around, the electronics are going to go up. Level one electronics are going to go up in price. Okay. okay. So now we are on turn two. So now things are going to go up if, uh, if um, you know, they start to run out. So we're going to go backwards now. So team eight, what is your, uh, what is your choice? Uh, can we get level three electronics? Level three electronics, you got it. So that is a the last one. So this will go up in price. Okay. All right, team seven. We'll get a level one chassis. Level one chassis, you got it. So that's the last one. So that's going to go up in price. Okay. All right, team six. Level three wheels. Level three wheels, you got it. Last one, so this is gonna go up in price. All right, team five. Uh, level two electronics. Level two electronics, all right, so that is sold out. All right, team four. We're gonna do a level three motor. Level three motor. So this is going to go up in price. All right, team three. We'll do a level four mo motor. Level four motor, you got it. So this is going to go up. All right, team two. Um, the level one motor. Level one motor, all right, that is sold out. All right, team one. So uh, you'll have two picks, but uh, just pick, uh, just do one pick for now, uh, and then something is going to happen after that. Okay, we'll get the wheels, level two. Level two wheels, you got it. Okay. So that's going to increase this price. Okay. And so uh, before we go to turn three, um, there is going to be a sale on all level three um, parts. So everything's going to go down in price. Okay, so team one, go ahead and make your uh, your second pick. We'll also get the level two chassis. Level two chassis, you got it. Okay, so this is gonna go up. All right, team two. 
level one chassis. Level one chassis, that is done. All right, team three. Uh, we'll do level four chassis. Level four chassis. All right. All right, team four. Well, level three wheels. Say it again. Level three wheels. Level three wheels. All right. That is done. All right, team five. Um, we'll go with the, uh, level two wheels. Level two wheels. All right. That's all yours. Okay. Team six. Level three chassis. Level three chassis. All right. Team seven. We'll get the, so if it's out of our budget, can we not purchase it? You can purchase can it. We... Uh, you just have to. Uh, you just have to report at the end what your budget deficit is. So it's it's okay if you guys okay. go over budget. Um, you know, it's it's just a, you know this game is just for fun. But um, you know, at the end, we're, okay. we're, if we have time, um, we're going to have everyone just kind of summarize how they did. All right. So we'll get the level three electronics. Level three electronics. All right. All yours. All right. Okay. Team eight. Yeah, can we get a uh, level four wheels? Level four wheels, you got it. This is gonna go up in price. Okay. Team nine, go ahead. Make one, uh, make one choice for now, and then uh, um, something's going to happen. Can we get the level two chassis? Level two chassis, you got it. Okay. Um, so now that we've reached this point, let's have a sale on all the level four items. So I think all these go back to their original, um, original prices. Okay, so team nine, you have one more uh, choice. What would you like to buy? Remember, you guys have to, you have your, uh, your specials too. So, um, you know, consider that as well. Can we get the level two motor, please? Level two motor, you got it. Okay, team eight. We have a special. Or? Special, you got it. Okay, um, team seven. We'll get the level one wheels. Level one wheels. Team six. Gonna purchase our specialist. Special, you got it. Okay. Team five. Uh, level three chassis. Level three chassis. Last one, so this goes up. Let's do 750. All right, team four. Level three chassis. You said level three chassis? Yeah. Okay. So that is done. Okay. Team three. We'll do our special. Special, got it. All right, team two. Uh, can we do level one wheels? Level one wheels, okay. This goes up. All right, team one, go ahead and make uh, um, one selection and then uh, another event is going to happen. Yeah, we'll get the level two motor. Level two motor, okay. So this goes up. Okay, so, uh, so for all the teams um, that uh, um, basically what's happening, what's gonna happen right now is that the market's doing really good. So everyone um, will, get an increase in their budget by um, 15%. Um, so if you take your original budget and just increase it by 15%, okay? Okay, turn five. So uh, uh, team one, you're on the clock. I will buy the special. Special, you got it. Okay, team two. Uh, 
Uh, one sec. Sure. Um, are, hmm. Oh, we got nothing? Yeah, I think we have everything, right? Oh, yeah, if you're, if you've got everything, you can, uh, you can just pass. Oh, yeah, I guess we pass then. Okay. All right, team three, you're on the clock. Uh. Well, it says level two, level two is blacked out for wills. Yes. We'll get level four wheels. Level four wheels, you got it. Team four. A special? Special, you got it. All right, team five. Special. Special, you got it. All right, team six. Uh, level four motor. Level four motor. All right, team seven. We'll get our special. Special, you got it. Team eight. Uh, level two motor. Level two motor, you got it. All right, team nine. Uh, we'll go with the special. Special, okay. Okay, so now it's turn six. Um, so actually, uh, you know, there's only nine teams and I put 10 parts in each category, so. Um, so if you haven't purchased your special, this is your time to do it. Uh, but if you're already done with all your parts, you can just uh, you can just pass. Um, okay, team nine. Oh, sorry, we'll pass for this one. Okay, team eight. Uh, we'll pass. Okay. Team seven. Pass. All right, six. We got everything. I don't think we need to buy anything else. Okay. Yeah, you can just pass. All right, team five. I think everyone has everything at this point. Pass. Pass. Four. Pass. Team four, do you still need a purchase? Okay. Team three. I have a question. Are we yeah. able to sell? No. <laughs> All right, my bad. Um, pass. Okay. Team two, I know you guys are done. Uh, team one, how about you guys? We'll pass. Okay, um, so that's uh, so that's the the game. Um, so why don't um, you know every all the uh, the team leads basically? Uh, why don't you give a kind of a brief description of what your robot was, and then how you um, anything that you did, um, like if you had to purchase parts that were uh, you know different from your specs, and how your budget was at the end. All right. So let's start with uh, with team one. How'd you guys do? Uh, we did pretty good. We got everything on time, except the special was late by one due date, and we have a hundred dollars to spend. Great, perfect. And what was your uh, what was your robot? Just a very brief uh, description um, of it. Let me check again. It was a delivery robot for Postmates. Great, cool. Okay, team two. Um, how'd you guys do? Uh, we did. Uh, pretty well for ourselves. I think we were basically a budget build. Um, it's supposed to be an autonomous robot that can navigate without around a classroom without colliding at anything. Uh, and it was basically all level one was our requirement except for electronics. And we had no payload. So we got everything on time and I think 5625 under budget. Great. Perfect. All right. Team three. How'd you guys do? Well, we did pretty good. We, did, I think we saved about five Five hundred and fifty-one dollars twenty-five cents, and our robot was uh, uh, a robot that transports large metal to my site. Great! You got all the parts that you needed. Yes, we did. Cool. And everything's on time. Cool. All right, team four. What you guys do? We did uh, pretty well. We got all of our parts by turn early, and we were thousand twenty-five hundred dollars. Cool. And what was uh, what was your robot? I was a rover for Elon Musk's leader mission. Cool. Awesome. All right, team five, how'd you do? Uh, so we prioritized beating all the requirements. So we got tier two, uh, or we got a tier three chassis and motor and tier two wheels and electronics. 
uh, and we were only $100 over budget. Great. And what was your, uh, what, what, what kind of robot did you guys have? Uh, we uh, had a bomb squad robot. Awesome. All right, team six, how'd you guys do? Uh, we did pretty good. We were a military like scouting robot for dangerous situations. We were $650 under budget, but we did buy our specialist bulletproof armor late by one turn. Okay, cool. All right, team seven, how'd you guys do? We had an autonomous vacuum, kind of like Roomba. Um, we had a small budget of 450 to start with. With 15% on top of that, we ended up 407 in debt. Um, but it was, it was hard to meet that budget. Getting yeah. the electronics late put us under. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, that happens sometimes. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's a challenge. But, um, you know, you guys did the best you could. So that was, uh, that was good. Okay, Team 8, what was your guys' robot and uh, how'd you guys do? Uh, we had a Grubhub delivery robot. Uh, we did pretty well. Um, all of our things were at least level two, except for electronics, which was level four, and it got bought out first round. So we got everything on time except for the electronics, and we saved about three hundred seventy-five dollars. Great, cool. All right, team nine. Uh, so, what was your robot, and uh, how'd you guys do? We had an educational toy robots, and uh, we did not so great. We went uh, three hundred sixty-five over our budget. Okay. Yeah, and that we happens. Sometimes. Also, got our uh, special after round four. Yeah. So that, that yeah that that can happen sometimes, especially you know for the later teams. So and I mean I, I think you guys did uh, the best you could with that. So uh, so hopefully you guys in, enjoyed that. Um, I I will tell you that it goes much smoother in in person. Um, I know a lot of a lot of you guys were kind of sitting in your breakout rooms waiting for me to come and give you instructions. So I apologize about that. I I, I totally uh, underestimated. Um, you know how that was going to go but uh hopefully that was a, 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 you guys had some fun with that um and you know the point of this game was just to show that you know when you're managing these engineering projects um i think you guys are, are probably most used to doing the science part like doing the design doing the analysis right but there's a lot more that goes on to, to doing an engineering project um especially for companies that you know do their engineering projects to make money so you know if, if uh, money making is, is a goal then you need to make sure that you know, you have at least some basic understanding of economics in order to get that done, okay? Uh, so we're gonna spend the first part of this class, uh, probably the first uh, 10 weeks um, doing economics. Um, and then later on in the course, we're gonna be doing uh, ethics. Um, so that's kind of the two, um, two different phases of the class that, that I would say, okay? Okay, so we uh, ended up um, finishing, um, you know, a few minutes early. So um, I got nothing else today, so. Uh, so thank you everyone for coming and thank you for being uh, patient with the uh, technical difficulties. Uh, it'll be, uh, it'll be uh, a lot smoother starting uh, on Thursday, I, I promise, because, you know, that's, um, you know, we're going to be uh, start going over at, um, content for the class. Okay? Uh, so thank you everyone for tuning in um, and thank you guys for your patience and I'll see everyone on Thursday. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. So I'll stick around until the end of class if you guys have questions. And uh, we have um, uh, we have office hours after this. Um, so if you have any questions that you want to ask me, uh, definitely feel free to stick around for a little bit. Um, professor? Sure. Mm -hmm. So, um, so uh, I was wanting to message you about waitlisting. So uh, I took a picture of the syllabus when you scrolled over it. So oh. if I send you an email and stuff, uh, then uh, would that be the easiest way to try to get to like add the class? Um, I, I mean, ultimately, it's, it's going to be up to the, the department what they choose to do with the waitlist. For now, I can I can add you to the uh, um, to the Canvas site, just so you have access to all the files. So I'll just manually add you um, from your email, um, and then you know, depending on what they do, then you know they, uh, um, you know, they can either add you to the class or, or not. But at least then you'll have access to the syllabus and the files and the and the lecture recordings uh, as well. Okay. Yeah. Just right, uh, so send send me an email so that I, I have your email um, for me, um, and then I can add you to the class. 
Okay. So you, you haven't heard anything like how many students you're able to accept yet? I think what, so I think their goal is that they, uh, um, you know, everyone on the wait list is going to get into a, a class, but I think what they want is they want to evenly distribute the students throughout the different sections. I mean, schedule permitting, of course. Right. Um, just because it's, uh, I think, uh, I, for, for me, it's, 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 uh, it, it doesn't matter. I, I, I think, you know, 40 or 50 students, it, it's kind of the same to me. Uh, but other faculty were concerned that, you know, we, I mean, we've, we've had to have larger class sizes just because of the, uh, you know, we had to cancel a lot of sections due to the budget cuts. Um, so some of the faculty were concerned about having much bigger classes. So just across the department, they're uh, trying to even it out between the different sections um, for that. But um, I'll see what I can do. I mean, if, if I take more students, then that's better for the other faculty too. So, I mean, I think that kind of is a win-win for everybody. Um, so I'll, I'll talk to the department um, and then I'll, I'll let you guys know what they say. Yeah, I emailed another professor teaching 401 and he like straight up said like I don't plan on taking other students from the wait list. Okay, yeah, a lot, a lot of a lot of the others have that that attitude. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean the department might force him to but you know if uh, um, I'll, I'll try to accept as many as I, I can. Cool. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks, Ray. Professor, you say your office hours are right after, correct? Yes, uh, at 2.30. So I, I need 15 minutes to grab a snack and refill my water, and then I'll, I'll hop into the, the office hours. Okay, I'll probably jump in your office hours at 2.30 or something. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you there in a bit. Bye. Bye. Robbie, do you have uh, any more questions uh, before I uh, end the call? Okay, I'll see you guys on Thursday.